this great little free tool is called Calipix. I will put the web address down below the video so you can click on it and access the download. So see this section here, this little download, this tiny download button, this is what you click on to download. Sometimes there may be advertising on this site with pretend downloads, don't click on those, only click on this. So save the file to wherever you keep your download so you can find it. Then simply click on your download, run it, and you've got this little box that's sitting on your site. So we just ran that program and that's the first time. Once you've run it the first time, I'm just going to X that off so it's closed. It sits on the bottom on your bar at the bottom and all you simply do is click on it it will come up it will ask you to run it again and it opens again you can leave it open if you want to but I tend to keep mine closed when I'm not using it now what I want to do is show you how to copy colors from anywhere that you see on the web I've gone to my website so that you've got somewhere different so that you can see that it's uh, working somewhere else besides its own site to bring it up even if it's open just click on it again it will bring it onto the page now I've decided I want to co copy this little pink color that I've got in the middle because I want to use that for something so on the left there you can see when I move my mouse in the first section here it's got pixels so it's telling me the size of that space with the pink on it the second part is the color code RGB and you can see for that pink color they've got three numbers in there things like Word documents tend to use RGB colors hex which is over here hex is what I need for you to give me your colors for your website down below HSB it's a another color system and honestly I don't know what CMYK is but if you get asked for it one day you'll know what to do so all you do is see when I move my mouse the color in that box changes so keep moving your mouse until you've got the color that you actually want so as I said I'm after that pink and then simply hit the enter key on your keyboard and see how that little lock has come up so it's locked that color so now when I move my mouse around that color stays in the box and if you actually click your mouse on the hex color click it it will copy it and then you can paste that into a document that you send to me or you can send to anyone else so it's very simple if you want to use this pink color in a word document I'll quickly show you how you can do that I've created this little box and I want to create create shading in the back so if I go into my shading and my colors so any of the color palettes on word document work in the same I click on more colors click on custom and you can see how you've got the RGB red green blue and there's three boxes so if I simply just go down to my bar at the bottom click on my color pick it will come up with me it will it will appear so I can see what I need to put in so I'm just simply going to key those numbers in if I click on here they'll go away so the best bet is just to jot them down and they're in the same order the R the G and the B so this one's 233 for R 185 for green and 199 for blue so I can just quickly enter them in here 233 hit tab it'll take you to the next box hit tab and it'll take you to the next box and there's my pink color so I go OK and so I've matched exactly the color that I had on my website and to use it again just click on that pink box or the box with the color in it the little lock will go away and you can see it starts searching for new colors for you so you can go to any page on the website if you find a color that you like and you can get the exact color to use on your website to use on your brochures to use on your flyers uh, to give out to your printer as I said the link to color picks is down below the video I hope this has been of assistance to you